family how are you so i'm just waking up this morning and i am cleaning my room what i just shared you is my oils and i'm sharing you my stuff that's on my dresser so basically i decided to get up early this morning and i got cleaned up got a bath and everything like that and decided that let me do some more stuff in my room the majority of my stuff is already done um and i'm just finishing off the rest um yeah that movie i just showed just one of my favorite movies but yes guys when you have you know a lot to do in your room i everything is done is still always something left so i decided to just take my time and do a little bit every day so as i got up this morning i decided let me um finish dusting down my furniture and getting rid of stuff off my dresser that i don't want there and that's what i'm doing guys yeah just enjoying the process i'm watching um dolly videos while i'm doing it to keep my company and yeah just you know want my room to be nice and fresh for when i come here from work As you can see on my bed is little Miss Kiki. She's actually up. She's awake. She's just laying there with her baby. It's still very early in the morning. Um, I'm getting ready to make my bed up now. And yeah, that's my fitted sheet. I actually had to cover up in my fitted sheet because it didn't fit my mattress. It was too, it was too small. But that's okay. My my flat sheet did fit. And I just covered up my fitted sheet, packing that away in my closet. And this are my pajamas that I slap in. I love this pajamas are so comfortable I'm just packing them in one of my drawers and let me get Kiki up come on baby girl time to get up <laughs> come say hi to your dolly family is this she so cute I love my baby so much but yes guys so my sister she gave me these this beautiful sheet set that just matches my room so perfectly and she gave me this chenille bed spread that I love so much it just takes me back to my childhood I love it so much oh my goodness and just making up my bed the old-fashioned way did you guys make up your bed like this talking it talking the pillows and stuff you know nowadays everything's a comforter and a pillow sham but back then we had to make our beds right up like this so I'm enjoying this process I love how it looks it just uh, it's so nostalgic just takes me back and I love it Hi guys, I just want to show you right now. I'm just gonna see the stores playlist one. That's what I do sometimes. When I tell you guys I just be watching videos. Sometimes I click on my dolly friends and I just let them videos run. So shout out to my girl Cena's dolls. She's on the couch, the big comfy couch. I love when you say that, Cena. So keep saying it. It just sweets my life. <laughs> when you say, Welcome to the couch, the big comfy couch, or something like that. You say I love it. So it's early in the morning. I'm hatching up videos playing for Maybe about two hours now. I just I'm just letting them run, sis. That's what I do, guys. Like, so yeah, I don't always comment, guys, but I'm always watching. I love your videos and everything like that. So again, if you don't know Cena Stores, I will be linking her um video in my description box. And you guys go give her a follow if you haven't followed her already. She has beautiful dolls, all types of precious babies, and she's a sweetie pie. She really is. So yeah. So yeah guys, I'm back. I'm just getting ready for my day. Got my lion hair on today because I took up my um twist. And you guys, I don't know if you know already, but I am wearing locks. But my locks are in these small baby stage so I can still wear my wigs. And you guys know I love a wig. So I have my really big one on today. I just felt like being a little extra because that's just me. Just call me extra, extra flower child. <laughs> And I haven't even said, you know, welcome to Spring's Little Flower Buzz Nursery and the amazing doll connection. Well, I'm not in the nursery right now. I'm just up in the morning vlogging with you guys, giving you a little bit of my day. Um, you know what I do. I'm trying to practice more of, you know, not just getting up early, but getting out of my bed early. 
um, this room, like I redid my room as you guys know, and I'm just doing more and more stuff every day. It's still more to do, but not nearly as much as it was before. I'm in love with my new bed. I'm in love with my new room. It's got a lot of clarity. Um, so I feel really happy about that. I have like two junk drawers instead of tan junk drawers. <laughs> it's such a big deal like my closet's clean now it's still full but it's just clean and organized now it's, it's no trash in there at the moment it's just all things that i want and that have a purpose in this one room alone i got rid of four really big trash bags and one smaller one but so five bags for the stuff all together i don't know how i did it but i definitely want to encourage you guys like just do a little bit at a time. I saw, um, I think it was my, my daddy friend Lisa in one of my comments saying how this is what she's doing as well. Just cleaning a little bit at a time. And I encourage all you guys to just do a little bit at a time because it feels so good, you guys. It feels good. So guys, in Bermuda, even though, even though it's like, even though it's like November, it's still uber hot, guys. It is still uber hot in Bermuda. Bermuda is crazy. And it's still hot. Like, we got a little breeze and a little rain. It's been raining. It's a rainy day. Do I want to cut this down a little bit? Or am I just leaving this lion mane on my neck? It look like a lion. <laughs> but, um, it's still, like, really warm here in Bermuda. It just is, um, especially in my house. Hot in here. It could be because I'm straight up menopausal, guys. I'm straight up menopausal. And this video is about that today, guys. I just wanted to share because I know there's a lot of women that's like around my age and older that watch me. And if you're a young one that watches me, <laughs> learn what you're going to have to go through, my lovelies, especially if you're a little girl. You know, so yeah, I'm at that stage now where I am definitely menopausal, pre menopausal, whatever you want to call it. Like, I still have a cycle, TMI, but whatever, with women, right? But, oh my gosh, guys, I go through so much stuff, like the anxiety, the night sweats, all the crazy things that come along with being an older woman. <laughs> I used to hear about this stuff growing up. I never understood it. Um, and now that, I'm, that I am experiencing it, I am definitely doing things to make sure that I stay connected with my inner being, with my higher self, definitely with my creator, you know, because menopause is something else, guys. So I am going to make an appointment with the therapist just to walk through it because sometimes my anxiety, like, with the menopause stuff, like, I will start crying and I don't even know where the crying comes from. But now I do. I know that is from being, you know, going through this stage in life, you know. Is another is a new transition I'm trying to take it light it's not easy because then we're gonna deal to all the deal with all the day-to-day -day stuff as well so I'm just showing you guys a little tiny bit of my makeup routine <laughs> guys my makeup routine is so simple like I don't do too much to myself at all guys I just put a little bit of oil on my face I love to shine I put a little bit of my foundation on, especially for my everyday makeup. I don't go heavy. I just do this. Um, do a little bit of lip gloss if I can find it. I drop stuff. <laughs> I drop stuff, guys. There's my lip gloss. I'm using my camera as a mirror. So you guys are going to see me, right? <laughs> Use my camera as a mirror. But yeah, guys, I just want to pop on and share that with you. Like, you know, my bed is all made up. I am loving my bed, you guys. Oh, look at my baby on my bed. OMG, she is so precious over there. This is like the old time you made to make up a bed, guys. I don't know if you guys still do that, like how you roll the pillows, you know, and tuck them. Because most people now have quilts and, um, you know, bed spreads with these shams and everything, but I really love this old Tommy bed spread. It's, it's called a chenille bed spread, and it's got like the, you know, the raised prints on it. I used to have this growing up as a child, and I wish I was, when I was redoing my room, that's the vibe that I was feeling. I just wanted to go back a little bit in time, in a time that, you know, made me feel good, made me feel nice in life growing up. 
you know and one thing growing up in my home thank god i'm so thankful like my mother and my big sister now but they kept like a really immaculate clean type of house like it wasn't top notch or perfect or rich but it was just clean and nice with clean bread spirits clean curtains just clean room dusted dump and you know at one point when i was getting really busy in life i wasn't really taking care of him as the best as i could but now this is all i'm about guys like i want to come here and my house be like just buffed on like all the time like get that dust off of the corners and that's what i've been doing right so i started with the place that i sleep I started with the place that I sleep, which is my bedroom, and my bedroom is finally like reached that place. So I'm just turning this on. Cause look who's up here, guys. Look, it's Wilhelmina. Say hi, Wilhelmina. So Wilhelmina right now is literally resting on my um this is just a trash bag that I get. With some stuff I put her in it. But Wilhelmina is just on my, what I'm calling my vanity. is really, really cute little vanity. But she's resting here right now. And she's so cute. I bought her up the other night. Um, I think it was last night or night before last. I can't remember. But look how cute she is, guys. I'm sorry if I'm casting a shadow. Because I think I am. But look how cute she looks. Hey, Bubba. Bubba Ross. She's too Sweet, yes, you are. <laughs> yes, you are. <sighs> so, I'm back, guys. Say, hot flashes in my life are very, very real. I'm really, really hot right now. So, I'm taking you guys through my experiences. <laughs> Life up a 40 something, I'm a 50 something years old woman. <laughs> I am so hot, you guys, but I can't let that stop me. It's like November the... What is it? The 7th? I don't know what day November it is, but it's November something. And mama is hot. It used to, once upon a time in Bermuda. That's how you know climate change is very real. Because I remember growing up around this time of the year, it being cold. But it's not cold in Bermuda yet. It's cooler. But it's not cool though. Putting on one of my favorite accessories, bracelets. <laughs> These are all the things that keep me happy, guys. Like my accessories, my earrings, making sure I look cute with the day. So everything's not done. This is still kind of like, it's a lot. If you can believe it or not, it's a lot clearer than what it was. But it's just all my jewelry and stuff. I'm going to remove it and dust it down because I burn incense because I love everything to smell good. So these are my chumper incense that I burn. Um... And you know, of course, the leaves the dust. But yeah, guys, so yeah, so yeah, I just want to share it with you guys. You didn't see me this weekend because I just decided to just take the weekend off. I didn't want to make a video. I usually make a Saturday Dolly Day video, but I didn't feel like it, so I didn't do it. Um, that's my ball. If I don't feel like doing something, I just don't do it, guys. And you know, I don't have time to be trying to keep up with the Jerseys. If I don't feel like doing it, I just don't do it. I just enjoy this life, you know. And I hope you guys are doing the same thing. And um, I do have some stuff, some dolly things to share with you. So I'm going to go ahead and share that with you right now. So I have this box that I got from... Um, I have this box that I got from Bountiful Baby. Um, I'm, I'm partially disappointed in this box, you guys, because... I thought Bountiful Baby, they do have all the baby stuff, but I thought everything was like, you know, of a higher caliber. But look, anyway, okay, let me not diss yet. Let me not start off like that. All right, so I got this body right here. This is supposed to be a 30 inch body, so I'm going to have to just see how it goes. So it looks small, but maybe this is it. But I was trying to get the original body that would look well, excuse me, on a limb, on the limb though. But this still looks kind of small. This looks short to me. I don't know if it's going to work. But I'm not going to give up. But this is the body. It's basically for a 30 inch baby. Right? So I got this for my limb. You know my limb that I got from Amazon. My really sweet limb that I got from Amazon. Hold on guys. Let me go get it. It's like a shop to you. So guys I'm back. This is my little limb though. This is Bash. Baby Bash guys. His name is Sebastian Ryan. Here's my little limb that I got from Amazon. He is so Super adorable, 
Say hi to your Dolly family baby. Say hello everybody. He always acts sleepy. It is early. I'm gonna change your clothes, thing. Say hi to everybody, boy. You just wanna be all baby fired. And here's a big boy, you guys. Here's a big baby. Here's a big boy. I love him so much. So yeah, so I got this body. I got this body for him because I think this is like the body that he would have came with naturally. Had he would have come from, you know, a doll, you know, from um, MacPherson's or whatever. They say he's a 28 inch doll. So I got a 30 inch body because I like him being this big. I really do. I like him being this big. He is a big, chunky, fat baby. Isn't it, man? Is that a fat baby? Mommy loves me big like this. Yes, I do. So, yes, I got this. Right, so I'm gonna try him on that body, and then I got these eyelashes. I got um, I got two. I got black, and I also got brown. Um, I wanted to see if they could kind of the brown ones might be able to work for my Wilhelmina, who I just shared you earlier. I don't know. We'll see. I'm still looking for an artist, guys, a doll artist to refurbish my Wilhelmina. I need somebody that can give her uh, some new hair. Some eyebrows and some eyelashes so my feelers are out there for that I know a lot of people don't like to go over other people's work but I'm still looking so if you guys know anybody any awesome silicone doll artists I would be very grateful if you share with me um, and then I also guys this is what I'm disappointed in I got these eyes and I'm like bumps for baby are serious so I got these eyes right because I have my eye on a silicone baby that's up on Amazon that I want to get. And I want to get different eyes. So I'm like, I'll get her some glass eyes. They sent me some acrylic plastic eyes, right? Okay, but that's not the problem. That's just cheap. Okay, that's the cheap little eyes I get what I get from Evita Dolls. You know what I mean, guys? So that disappointed me. They're not glass. They're just cheap little plastic little eyes. And it irritated me, uh it really did, you know, so I was a bit disappointed about that. I was. Ooh, I'm hot. Is all this her I have on? <laughs> I'm hot, guys. Yeah, tie a stinker makeup. And I also got these eyes as well. These are acrylic glass eyes. This is what I thought both of them were gonna be. And then I swear I got a different color, but they're both blue. So I don't know guys, my oil is like it got jacked up. I, I don't I don't know, I don't know. But I'm over it, I'm not sending nothing back. I'll just have to work with this. I'm not sending it back because here in Bermuda is more trouble for me to send something like this back than to just keep it. So, what if? I'll be right back, hold on a minute. <laughs> so guys, I'm back, just sitting on my bed. You wanna sit by your sister man, huh? You wanna sit by your sister wobbly head? He's got a little wobbly head. Let me see if I can straighten up his head too while I'm doing changing up his body because he has a wobbly i like that it moves i do like that because he could kind of look in all these different directions so i actually really like that but i would want it to be more controlled because he's a big boy he's not named toddler he's a big boy so i would want it to be more controlled so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna change him as well right because it's monday so i decided i'll put fashion this this okay sit up all right come on come on come on come on come on <laughs> so I decided I'll put that bash in this Disney Monday outfit. He's gonna wear this Mickey Mouse t-shirt and these little cute little shorts. And these are 18 month size clothes, guys. And he's gonna put these cute little black sneakers on. Whoop! Come. These cute little black sneakers on, and he's going to wear these little white socks right here. So this is the stuff that was at my fingertips, guys. So that's what it's going to wear. And behind me is little Miss Kiki. Kiki, you want to sit up and look at your dolly family baby or your cool name back there? And let's bring you around so everybody can see this thing. Let's bring you around so everybody can see that. There you go. You hear your baby? Hmm, your brother's up in the room with you. Yes. <laughs> so there's my little Kiki, guys. So yeah. So I, yeah, I'm going to change him. But I also wanted to show you while I have him. He likes to lean up on me, guys. So I went um, I went shopping the other day. I always say I'm not buying enough nuts for my daughters. But I always buy stuff for my daughters. Not just my daughters, for my doll. When I say daughters, I'm talking about my dolls, guys. My little girl dolls. 
but I couldn't pass this up because it was a sale. So I'm going to share with you the couple of things that I did buy on sale, guys. Okay, so I couldn't help it. I just hit up a couple of my Dolly, um, Dolly, um, I'm saying Dolly. It's baby shops, guys. It's not even for those. But since I shop for these dolls, I'm calling it Dolly shops. I'm ridiculous. <laughs> but I, I hit up a couple of my baby stores, right? And I got some more bubbles. I got two packages of bubbles, guys. It was on sale. Right, so I got two packages because, um, you know, they have one color of each. So I got two, so I got two of each. Back in the day when I used to buy bubbles, they used to have two in one package. They have two pinks, two yellows, two, 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 but now they have it all separated up. That's how it comes now, all separated up, guys, like that. So you have to buy two. Isn't that crazy? But I got that. And I also got, what else I got for these little bambinas? I've been shopping for them. I got some white tights. Right? Um, what else is in this bag? It's some clothes and stuff. Let me just rest the bag right here and pull. Look at this, guys. I couldn't leave it in the shop. Isn't this so stinking cute? A little pink coverall. I mean, a little polka dot denim coverall with a kitty cat and a pink top. I couldn't leave it in the shop, guys. I couldn't leave it in the shop. It's so adorable. Then I also got this little one. That's like, got the little lace on the sleeves, right? Little butterflies, it says, I'm cute from boo to toe. And that is adorable, right? It come, that's the top. And then it came with this cute little, little um, pants with the tutu on it. What size is this? Let's just pick this stuff up. This is three to six months. So there's the little pants with the little tutu one of that matches the sleeves. Isn't that so cute? I couldn't leave it. I had to get it, guys. I had to. And um, it's not bashy bash. And I also got um this cute little outfit right here. Look at this, guys. So I was thinking of my little Makise when I got this to do a bash dress Sunday with them. Um, but it could be for anybody. It's a size zero to three months. But look at it. It's a little um, what is on the shirt? Triangles, like little triangles and print on the shirt with a bow tie, right? And with the little um bass. And then it came with these cute little pants. Isn't this so adorable? Oh my gosh, that is just too cute. I couldn't leave it, so I got it. And then also my other baby shop guys. Now you guys know. Oh, I'm hot, guys. I'm just gonna napkin wipe my face. I feel this sweat. Menopause, guys, I'm telling you, menopause is a real thing. I'm telling you, it's real. <laughs> but I've learned, since I understand what's happening with me now, because for a minute I wasn't sure what was going on with me. But I learned what was going on with me. And since I learned what was going on with me, I don't stress out about it. That was, you know, I learned a while back what was happening with me. So if any of you is going through these random hot flashes and... Night sweats, one minute you're cool, next minute you're super hot, real sweat in the bullets. But guess what? You know, I have to find the silver lining in everything, right? So, my silver lining is that when you sweat, it's less wrinkles, it just keeps you your skin tight and smooth. Do you guys know that? The more moisturized your skin is, the more smoother and tighter it's gonna be. Let me tell you, okay? So, sweat on, baby. <laughs> But you guys know I have the dumpling triplets. I'll be changing them probably next because I got, look at these outfits, guys. I got these pretty dumpling triplets. I got three of them. Look at that. Look at that. That's so cute. So this is three of them for my three girls. Um, my three dumpling triplets. And it's basically a cute little, like it's a denim card material, white with flowers. And um, a blue little onesie is a onesie underneath it. A blue onesie underneath it. And I plan to put this on there with like, depending on the weather, because it's still like I said, it's kind of warm here, but it's, you know, it gets chilly nice. Probably put some tights on with all of them, or socks, I'm not sure. Um, shoes, white little shoes, some birds. So I've got to put the outfit all together for them. But I'm excited about them. It looks so cute in this. My dumpling triplets, so I was happy to find that for them. So, yeah, guys, that was my little shopping spree um, that I had. Stinker, you think I should try to change your body now? Let me look at this body, guys. Let's look at how this body is. So, I'm going to take this off. This is the body that my baby came with, right, which I don't mind the body. 
I spray the camera down on him so you guys can see. So this is the body that my baby, my baby came with, right? Let's take this off, Bashy Bash. Let's take this off, Bash me. Shout out to my girl Marisol who just opened. I did a box opening the other day. I think it was Saturday. She did a box opening and she got a Liam. Of course, artist made one. And she, that baby is so adorable. The baby was painted by Teresa Sanders, which is an awesome artist. She is so awesome. Um, yeah, that baby's cute. So, all right, let me see if it's the same length, guys. Yes, the body is the same length, you guys. Maybe I should go for it. Let me see. It's a slimmer body. It's a slimmer body. But it's the same length body. Looks out from neck to down to his legs. It's the same length. Should I change it, Lenny Poo? Huh? I could use the same stuff and that's in this but of uh, anybody you got now and put it in this body. Should I go for it, guys? I think I'm gonna go for it. I think I'm gonna go for it, baby. You wanna be taken apart? Huh? You wanna be taken apart? Let's take let mommy take you apart. Let mommy take you apart. Where's my scissors? Let mama take you apart, man. So I'm gonna take him apart, guys. I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. Last minute decision. We're gonna be off of his head. When you redo a baby, guys, it's so easy. Once you get the hang of doing it, it's real easy. The most I did with this dog when I first got him was um I did I did um like I restuffed him. That's all because he was like, oh my gosh. I guess I don't know if these companies, it might be that they machine stuff these babies because he was stuffed like crazy, guys. So I didn't rate him or anything like that. I did not rate him or I haven't put anything in his limbs or anything like that. I just wanted to um I'm not gonna mess up this body in case I still need to use it because this is actually a nice body, it's not a bare body at all. I just wanted to see how he would look with um with the other body but yeah as i said i didn't do anything to him i didn't I, I haven't did anything to his limbs i haven't put any rating in his limbs or anything like that guys i just wanted to restart him but yeah i just wanted to restart this baby if the camera was like see what i'm doing I just wanted to restock this baby so I could, you know, that stuffing was just too much. So guys, this is just a last minute decision that I'm deciding to go ahead and check out his body. Let's see. Where is it? Yeah, there it is. I'm looking for the, um, the zip tie, guys. There it is. All right, let's get the next one. So, yeah, guys, if you ever get, like, an Amazon baby, I always say the same thing. If you ever get an Amazon baby and you got um, the fixings, you can fix up your baby any way that you want to make it your own. You can get stuff from, like, Ferrisons, Bountiful Baby, or this type of places, Irresistible, South Parts, fixings for your baby. I'm kind of, like I said, I'm kind of disappointed in Bountiful Baby with these eyes that they sent me like this. I mean, I'm not impressed with these eyes. I thought I was getting glass eyes, and I am not. I could have just ordered this from Amazon. Oh, so my goodness, impressed. guys. Okay, so my camera stopped. It stopped recording because it ran, so-called ran out of space. But look at him on his new body. He looks just... <laughs> He, he looks like an original, all right? Straight up. He looks like an original. He does. He does. But, again, here's my Amazon, Liam. His name is Sebastian Ryan. I put him on this new body, and he looks great. Uh, he looks great. So, that's a suggestion. This is a 30-inch body that I got from Bountiful Baby. You can also find it on McPherson's. You can also find it on um, Irresistibles. And look at it. It fits good. He looks great. 
He looks great. I remember my friend Marisol, shout out to my girl again, um, was telling me I should get a body, you know, that goes with him. And I did, and he looks great, and he feels great. So, guys, I didn't put no extra weight in. All I did was put the stocking that was in his other body, which I'm going to keep this body in case it could come in handy for another baby because it is a nice body. It's a nice body, so I'm going to hold on to that. But all I did was take the stocking out of that body and put it into this one. And yeah, so I haven't baited him. He's not baited. I'm really past um, all the baiting and stuff like that now. He is a, a nice weight right now. He's probably about, he feels like he's about maybe three, four pounds. Maybe about four pounds at the most, which is great. That's a great weight for him. Um, he looks so awesome. Look, his, even his hair's up steady and everything now. Oh, my little thing, me. You look cute, but yes, my little toddler. So, yeah, guys, so yeah, I don't bother doing the happy weight anymore. Um, I only weigh to a certain degree now, especially with my big babies. I'm past the stage of worrying about like how much they weigh and feeling like a real baby and all that kind of stuff. Like I experienced that already and it was already fun. This is like I said, this is my fourth year into um into rebooning and playing with baby dolls. Well, my you know, being in right deeply into the hobby. It's my fourth year and a lot of stuff on past, you know, as far as that's concerned. Let's get you dressed, boo. Put your socks on. Let's put your pamper back on. Let's put your pamper back on. You need to wear underpants. You gotta get into your underpants. Yes, you do. But I'm just gonna put his diaper cover back on, guys. Because he still has little accidents. It's okay. Every baby's different. <laughs> yeah, so I think I'm past all that. No, no, not to say. I'm not saying that I'm past buying dolls and all that. Because no one's got the brass on me. I'm probably gonna be buying a doll, guys. Have a couple of them out on my radar <laughs> um matter of fact i just hit up my favorite reborn doll artist which is um dion miller of bloomers and bridges she's the one that made my precious kiki to see if she could make me a doll she said she can so i'm super excited i'm super excited <laughs> but yeah so um yeah guys so yeah, but I didn't feel the need to have to bait him heavy or put any weight in his limbs or anything like that. I didn't feel the need to do any of that. Right now, his limbs have polyfill in them, and it's the same polyfill that he came with. I didn't put any polyfill in him. Um, and, like, I'm good with that, guys. I'm really good with that. You know? So, yeah. I'm just coming back one real quick. Got him changed up. I'm so excited with the body. And look, it came out nice. So, guys, when you buy these babies, it's really cool. You don't have to do it, but it is cool to, um, you know, you can get them to your liking. You can get them to the way how you want them to be. You really honestly can. And like I said, this outfit is a eight size, 18 months. 18 months show us. So, that thing. He looks so cute, guys. I'm excited. And I'm so glad I took the plunge and got the body. Yay. I'm so glad I got it. I'm so glad I got the body. I'm so glad I did it. It's so worth it. Ooh, let me put that on the right way. Put you on backwards. I'm putting you on backwards. You look like you're getting ready for daycare, man. Yes, you're getting ready for daycare. Because you look like you're getting ready for the Baker Center. <laughs> yeah. So, guys, like when I'm going through like anxiety and different things like that, you know, I like doing this. When you go through anxiety, do something that you love to do. It don't have to be dolls, but just do something that you love doing. You know, put on a nice movie, go for a nice nature walk. Do arts and crafts. Do something, you know, because it takes your mind over those things. You know, I'm just getting back to that because that's what happens sometimes with menopause. You need to do anxiety and stuff. Yeah. But yes, guys, it's Monday today. So I, I hope that you guys are having a great one. Uh, these look so nice. So these um, little sneakers came from... One of the aunties, she sent me a really beautiful box opening for my little Miss Talina. She's due for outfit change soon as well. Um, and these sneakers were in there. These fit in perfect. Oh my goodness. Like these are perfect. His two is right up there. What size are they in case anybody's interested in asking me 
one of the newer size he wears. These are Nikes. Let me see what size they are. So that anyone wanted to get him some a US baby three and a, a, U, a US four, a US baby size four. It's a US baby size four. Mm -mm. He looks so cute. He looks like he's about to be ready to go to the um. He looks like he's about to be ready to go nursery. You ready to go nursery thing? Huh? Look at that. And he looks so cute. So if anybody's interested in getting this baby, I have him in my um Amazon shop, the Amazon storefront. Is anybody was interested in getting him? He's like he was like a hundred and and then it's Disney. Do I have my Disney um brush? Yes, I do. I like using my Disney brush when I put Disney clears on my babies. <laughs> I just think it's so cool. But yeah, so he is he was like a hundred and between 140 and 160, if I'm remembering correctly, guys. Worth every penny. Worth every penny, worth every penny. Beautiful. In the bash. So yes, and my mommy loves me and my mom is happy that she bought me. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. I'm happy that I bought you. So cute. So there he is, guys. Let's put that over there. Sit next to your sister, Mia. Your sister's stealing like her PJ type clothes, but that's okay. Aww. He looks so cute. You ready for the thick ass thinker. Sit right there so everybody can see both of you. Hey, you don't want to sit up? Let's make you sit up. Let's make you sit up. There we go. There we go. Don't he look so cute? Oh my goodness, my two precious little buffs. Guess what? Looks like you're giving me only beard today, man. Yes, you're giving me only beard for your sister today. You are? He's giving me only beard today for his sister, guys. Let me just get this stuff. Let me fill it back up and put it back. So I'll fill this up. I can put in this drawer. This is why I just took off of him. But y'all guys, so today is just, is, I'm just, it's is, is Monday. I look at my Mondays differently. I don't get up on Mondays with all of the, oh, it's Monday. I'm tired. I don't do all of that anymore. I get up excited to start my week. And I'm happy to be starting with you guys, you know. It's only like maybe, hmm. I don't know, maybe like 10 o'clock now? Well, I think it's still earlier than that. I think it's like 9.30. I think it's like 9.30 right now, I think. But I'm happy to be I'm happy to be up and starting my day. What's this? Um, the Vendor's Market papers. Okay. Vendor's Market. I love a little Vendor's Market. I know I want to do one. I think I'm going to get some doses out to some of my um, people here in Bermuda because they always, always ask me about my dose. Kids always want to know where my dose come from and all of that side. Then we got a couple of little dolls from Amazon and sell them at the vendor's market. We sell them. I'm not necessarily trying to make a whole lot of money because, you know, just make a little something. Because by the time I um, ship it to the meter and all of that, I don't want to put so much of a high markup on it because stuff's so expensive nowadays. But um, I'll probably sell it just a little bit over cost. So it won't be too expensive for my people. And people could get pretty dolls for their kids or whatever because you'd be surprised guys people be in my dms oh my 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 daughter sees your doll she loves them and all that kind of stuff so i always talk to the parents and explain to them about wee ones and how it all goes some of them wanted to know like you know about the really expensive dolls and i tell them and some want to know i don't know it's a baby i don't need to spend all that money so i tell them about the amazon and aliexpress as well so yeah because i collect everything all of this back. I just gotta go down in the nursery. So probably when I do my um, probably when I do my triplets, I'll probably be done in the nursery with them. I'll be probably done in the nursery with them. But yeah, guys. Oh my goodness, that's my video for today. Looks like these two are gonna be my room babies for today. Sebastian Ryan and Kile Monet, Ronan as Kiki, and Baby Bash. 
But yeah, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope that you guys have a great week. I don't know if I'm getting back again one for this week or not. I'm not sure. You know how I do. I just play things by ear. I just feel like I'm got all of the baby um stuff in on me right now. But anyway, whatever. Nobody cares. <laughs> I think I'm going to make myself some breakfast. I think I feel like pancakes today. I don't have any sausages, but I do have hot dogs, which work just as well. So I'm probably going to make myself a couple of pancakes, you guys, and some hot dogs because I don't have sausages. I have honey. But yeah, I'm going to make myself some breakfast. And I am going to be on my way to work soon. And yeah, I'm just going to enjoy my day. And I hope you guys enjoy your day too. Come on, Bash. Thing. all right guys that's it for me today i just want to tell you that i love you dolly family thank you so much for hanging out with me and sebastian and kiki back there and i hope that you guys have a wonderful day and that you enjoy your dolls and enjoy whatever it is that you're doing i love you dolly family and remember it's your dolls your way bye bye say bye steak you want to turn it you want to turn it off because you know the toddlers love to turn off my camera you want to turn off the camera stinker huh you do mm -hmm. you want to turn it off okay yeah turn it off yeah turn off man turn off <laughs>